I have started this video five times because I cannot keep it under like ten minutes. So here are all the bullet points in as fucking rapid fire fashion as I can muster in my hungover state. One, I'm hungover. Went out last night with coworkers and uh, partner company people to whatever. Keep up the relations and network or whatever the fuck we do. And it was too many beers and too many shots for me to be able to stomach metaphorically and possibly physically both commuting to work and sitting at work. I have done some work from home. Uh, insert jab about how most people have internet and computers and thus can work from home. Erica, who has neither internet or a computer. Um, in the first time I tried this, I went on for two minutes about how we ended the night at a strip club and what, uh, how I don't really like strip clubs, but I don't dislike them or care about them really. But I don't buy into it and I don't buy dances and spend money because it's ridiculous. If you want to talk about strip clubs and, if, and have a problem with it, go ahead. Um, I don't care. Um, second point was how my lady friend's mother was staying with us, as I pointed out, and she left this note. And I, it's a nice note, it's a nice sentiment, but then I, I pointed out how I have a bit of a problem with her calling herself mom to me. Which makes me think she wants me to call her mom, and I don't call other people's moms mom. Aaron, I think that's even true when we were in high school and inseparable, and I was always at Aaron's house. I didn't call his mom mom, even though she was my surrogate mother 50% of the time, by virtue of association. Um, and then that led me to talk about how my lady friend's mother is is just a mother and wants to be a mother and has little dogs that she is the mommy to. Like she likes to take care of people and things, I guess, and dogs. And then that led me to say how I just don't really enjoy the anthropomorphization of animals, of pets, and people who call their pets their children and whatnot. And I know, oh, it's like having a child. You've got to feed it and clean up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but your child grows up and put you in a retirement home someday because they are making money and supporting their own family or whatever and feeding themselves and cleaning up their own shit. And pets will never be able to do that because they're pets, which are animals, which are not people. And uh, then I'll move along. Oh, by the way, the first time I tried to do this video, the reason I had to stop is because I know sound came out of my mouth because it was the first time I tried to speak after being hungover. Um, so, however bad my voice sounds now, it's about a million times better than when I first started. Um, both Angela and Erica, uh, even though Angela said this directly about not gonna date, I'm not gonna date, that is borderline I'm just, this is a warning. I'm not saying this is the sentiment you're even conveying. But you are just on the border of sounding like one of those stereotypical girls that goes, I am giving up on men. I am giving up on dating. It's just ridiculous and it's not worth my time. And these the men of the world, they're losing out on me because they're just dicks. Men are dicks. Just don't, don't ever go that far. Because that, you know that's pathetic. You've probably known women like that, or women who've gone through that stage, and all they're really saying is, what's wrong with me? Why can't I get a man? I want to be dating. I want to be dating. I want to have a, a man. I want to get married. I want to have babies. That's what I hear when women are complaining about how they're giving up dating. Uh, you seem a bit more level-headed about it, so I'll, I'll believe you. I understand you're just like, man, it's not worth the time and effort and... Uh, yeah. And it's not, I'm, I, fuck, I've had two actual relationships in my life, and I actually had, what, like three or four actual dates, you know, like, like five years ago, four years ago, four and a half years ago, before Rachel. <clears throat> and I, I 
those were almost successful, but like the dating scene, I don't, I still don't understand. And I've been single a lot. Longer than maybe both of you, probably. But <clears throat> now I'm locked down. Um, and lastly, Erica. <clears throat> Your text to me, I should have fucking checked this too so I could have it. Your text to me was something like, why don't I like eating? Or why, yeah, like, why don't I like eating? Something like that. That was the text. To which I responded, because all the food is poison. And then gave you the YouTube video. Because how the fuck, well, how am I supposed to respond to that? I know you well enough to know that you don't have an eating disorder. Um... And well enough to know that I, there's, I could have read that text like one of a million ways. You could have been just being goofy. I don't know. So I've learned to just write it out with something silly until it susses out. And you've explained it, and I believe that. I understand that when I got my first crown, well, my only one so far, um, I didn't want to chew on it. I was like, oh, this is a great, this is like the best tooth I have. And I'm going to lose all the rest of them, so I better save this tooth. So I, and I get it. Um, <clears throat> but I, our mother says that between our cousin, you, and me, that I am the most sane. And we know that our mother is always right. Although she's a little bit crazy herself. Which makes sense, because so is her sister, which is our cousin's mother. We're all of the same crazy lineage. In the very least, take heart that Jamie is the most crazy of us. Like, actual f functional issues. I hope you're watching this, Jamie. And, and you know you can't disagree. You are the craziest of the three of us. As far as ex-wife issues and whatnot go, it's like, it's okay to be friends with your exes. Um, I understand that a situation is probably a little bit different, but obviously... Even though I just said that Jamie's the crazy one, it is the ex who has some sort of issue, given that she insists on marrying men and then apparently divorcing them and, I don't know, using them? Or, or she's like a serial friend converter, spouse to friend converter. And now she's got a new boyfriend who she'll probably marry and then divorce again and be friends, and then all of her exes will get together and play fucking Jim Rummy every Wednesday. I don't know. That's maybe her ideal world. I've never even met her. So here it has been eight minutes. Uh, I don't even think I responded to everything. Fuck my life. I think I'm always going to uh, post with this background. <clears throat>